today from having woken up on the wrong side of the bed, which is when you're chronically ill, shocking that you have to do it. It's not shocking. It's just every day. Well, not every day. There are good days. There are bad days. My sister effectively served her grants for mania, so she just lost night on this beautiful vomit of problematic YouTube videos for which I think I probably should apologize or just hide them or I'll release the next one that I'm still deciding about. I can't decide. So, yeah. But, because my mother is coming up here in like a week, no, I don't have to, tells me that it's annoying for me to complain. I'm just going to explain. When you have this many mental illnesses, sure, I live here, this place is gorgeous, there's creepy dogs and paintings, but I am still, I still have days. And this isn't even the worst of it. This is a day when I had all my meds, except the PTSD one I got taken off of, which I'm thinking I need to be back on. I'm seeing my psychiatrist, well, phone chatting with my psychiatrist tomorrow. Yay. So, hopefully I can avoid going into benzodiazepine withdrawal again. Those of you who have watched this channel, if anyone does, I don't know why. But, may know that that is like a chronic problem because, dear Nevada, by all means Nevada, as much as I love it, has been hit especially hard by the opioid crisis and just have to put like little Xanax sprinkles on their like drug cocktail and I'm no one to judge. I, I mean I made that video about being a drug addict. I was a drug addict 20 fucking years ago and I wasn't taking them out of the hands of sick people. I like the intestines so. So, Betty, is there anything you'd like to say? Well, Betty, is there anything you'd like to say to the Illuminati? They mentioned they like your videos. No, nothing? Purr, purr, and... Damn it, Cat, why are you so hard to photograph? It's because you're so... But, luckily... There are things I can do, and that is what I'm trying to do, because I know as well as anyone that there is no way out of the depression that comes after me. I just have to ride it out, just sit here, wait. I mean, after being in a bunch of hospitals and finding some helpful, some unhelpful, but figuring out what they will do and what they won't do, and now I'm in a different state where the healthcare is really rated 48th. So I'm like, oh God, no, no thanks. I'm not suicidal. Let's just not go there just because I'm having a bad day. Fuck no. So, I know I made that video yesterday. Sorry to be so self intervention Last night about harm reduction coping mechanisms. Now, my harm reduction coping mechanisms are working quite nicely. I am stoned. Hooray. It's legal in Nevada. Apologies to this content. It is. No apologies. And coffee. And let me tell you a good story to cheer this little blot of depression up a little bit. My Darling fiance, maybe some bits of jewelry from the craft store. <laughs> so, this pendant, she spot at least as a pendant, and they stuck it on a string. And she made me this bracelet with the crow on it because she knows I like the spooky stuff. 
and then she may do this that says queen. Yeah, she considers me queen. God, I love her so much, and I hope this works out. And this is probably a day when I should just fucking watch TV and not talk about my feelings, but I have so many feelings. So I'm going to unload them on you. But first, maybe something frivolous to put here. Oh my ass. This is the cat from the side. This is a beautiful cat. I love this cat. <laughs>